Yeah, my name is Jarrell Rhodes. Um, I am associate pastor at Kingdom Life Ministries International, um, as well as I work within the Roanoke City Public School System and other various things within Roanoke City. I believe that this building being renovated is the strength of this community. Um, the thing about Villa Heights, I've, I've always said that as this building goes, the neighborhood goes. So I believe the strength that comes out of this building is what keeps the, the flowing and the ebbing and the flowing of uh, the youth within this community, the vibrancy, um, the ability to create life, I believe, comes from this building sitting here that's been here for so many years. And the fact that it's now renovated, it's like a renewed vision. So my name is Valerie. I'm a lifetime member of Kingdom Life Ministries. And Villa Heights, my memories of Villa Heights um, began when I was in middle school, high school, um, back in the 80s. I, w I was a part of a dance team, and we practiced in this building and out in the um, parking lot. And um, it was this time, that time in my life was really instrumental because it was a safe place for me. Um, and so it was, I was very, very excited to hear that it was going to be re uh, renovated because I, re I recognized how instrumental it was to me um, when I was coming up. My name is Kathy O'Keefe. I'm the pastor of Kingdom Life Ministries International. And I have been uh, involved in ministerial work since 1976. So I've been involved for a very, very long time. But I think that what I have learned down through the many years is that the greatest ministry we can have is to be a servant to others. And when I look at what God has opened for us, it has been always a impacting and involving and engaging community. Uh, because community life is the heart of not only the community or the city, it is really the river or the life that is given to each family, each individual. And when that community is strong and powerful, then the individuals within that community are strong and powerful. They're full of grace, they are creative, they feel like they have purpose, they feel like they have a reason to be, and it makes us all better human beings. I was very excited when I heard we were gonna renovate the building because I recognized the opportunity for the people the young people in the area, um, older as well, just to be in an environment with, uh, with other people. They just wanted to be in a community, in a space where they could thrive and they could conversate and, and talk about what they needed and, and, and get resources. It, it was just, a, it was that space for me and I was just excited to find that it could be that space for somebody else. I would say that uh, Villa Heights has always been a, a place where people have come to learn. Um, I know over the years when I was growing up, um, all the way to the point when I had the opportunity to work in this exact building, you know, in college. Um, this has been a place for people to come to learn um, in more than one way. This place was here for a reason from the beginning. And so it's now beginning, it's like an engine starting up over again. And now as it flows, it should bring in what it needs to bring in and it should put out what it needs to put out. So the change is happening with the change of the place. And um, I, I believe it's going to be uh, for the betterment of Northwest Roanoke. I think that in all of our neighborhoods, we want to see and we want to have pride in not only the neighborhood itself, but in the construction of the neighborhood, in the rebuilding of it, in the restoration of it. And I, I believe that when you begin, I've seen it in other communities, when you begin to restore here, it ignites the hope in people that have the ability to restore other aspects of that same community. And all of a sudden, you have a fireball. Now, it takes a while to get that fireball built to the place that it can roll. But once it begins to roll, it ignites all the different human families within that community to begin to see their own community from a totally different perspective and begin to realize that they have the capacity to also walk differently in their community now 
and it ignites a pride in community. It ignites hope, it ignites, and it also heals the many, many years of just total rejection, total uh, ignoring the community, uh, promises that never took place. And this is why I think we feel such a great weight. We want to be the promise that becomes reality in this community so that people will believe in their capacity to trust the promises that are meant for the good of their community.